Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hello dear students, I hope you are all doing well. Uh, I would like to welcome you to our first term of the academic year 2023 and 2024. Uh, I am Mr. Muad and I will be uh, uploading uh, videos on the topics for uh, this year for grade 10 advanced chemistry inshallah. So uh, please uh, share the channel. It's called Easy Chemistry for All. Share it with all your friends on, uh, on the group so that um, many students and many of your classmates can benefit from, uh, hopefully benefit from, uh, from these uh, videos. So uh, basically I'll be uploading a video or two videos every week, inshallah, depending on, on the speed of, of the plan for grade 10 advanced. Okay. So first of all, I would like to start uh, with an introduction to chemistry, okay? Uh, I know that you studied uh, biology in grade uh, nine advanced, okay? So, um, and you took also physics, but your chemistry knowledge comes from the science course, which you studied in grade eight, grade seven, grade six, and so on in Arabic. So we'll just go briefly on defining chemistry, okay? and reviewing some of the basic structures of the, at of the atom or the basic structure of the atom, okay? So what is chemistry? So chemistry is the study of the properties and behavior of matter. So properties meaning khasais, behavior, yani how the matter behaves, okay? And also the physical and chemical properties of matter, al madda the physical and chemical khasais al al kimiaiya and how different forms of matter change and interact. For example, you have solid, liquid, and gas, right? Or also you can have plasma, but the, uh, the physical states of matter or substances, how do they change from one form to another? And how do they interact with each other? Also, the energy associated with chemical reactions or chemical and physical changes. So the energy, how much of energy is produced or is absorbed when you heat water. How much energy in joules do you need for 10 kilograms of water so that it boils? For example, so anything that has to do with matter, al-madda, taqweenha, tabi'itha, khasaisha, tafa'ulatha, is all under chemistry. Okay? So this is just a general picture uh, for you to get. You can also search uh, YouTube about uh, introductions or definitions for chemistry, all right? So I'd like to start with a quick quiz, okay? Six questions. Quick quiz about the atom, which you already know is the smallest building block of uh, matter. Wahdat bina al-madda is called the atom al dharra So let's start quickly. So a particle that moves around the nucleus is an... You can stop here and continue. So the nucleus in Nawa. What is around the nucleus? We know that electrons are around the nucleus. So the nucleus here, Nawa al dharra مش Nawa al-Khaliya, اللي فيها DNA, like you studied in grade 9 advanced. No, we are talking about the nucleus of the atom. Nawa al dharra مش Nawa al-Khaliya. Okay? So, true or false? Neutrons and neutronat have a negative charge. So, Neutrons come from the comes from the word neutral, which is muta'adil, meaning no charge, zero charge. So it is false. Particles, particles means al jusaymat. Okay, so particles in an atom that are neutral and have no charge are called. We said it just now in this uh, slide, right? So they are called neutrons. So we talked about electrons. We talked about neutrons. How about how about protons? We will see that in the next questions. So the positive particles of an atom are... So in an atom, we have positive, negative, and neutral particles. So the positive particles, which say metal mujaba, are the protons. So positive P protons. Okay? P and P. All matter is made of energy, electrons, compounds. Of course, electrons, but... 
We are talking about the smallest building block. So all of them have atoms. All matter, جميع المواد فيها ذرات. Finally, what does the nucleus of an atom contain? نواة الذرة على ماذا تحتوي? So the electrons of an other, the nucleus of an atom contains protons and neutrons. Again, not DNA or RNA because that's the nucleus of the cell. We are talking about the nucleus of an atom. So that was just a quick refresh for you uh, for the basic knowledge that you uh, studied in grades 8, 7, 6 and so on. So again, this is the basic structure inside here you have neutrons, no charge and protons has a, has a, have positive charge and all of them, neutrons and protons they make the nucleus and because the nucleus has no charge and positive charge from the proton, so the charge of the nucleus is positive and around the nucleus we have these negatively charged particles which are the electrons so you can stop the video here, you can have another look, and you can also read the definitions of the particles inside the atom. Okay, so the module that we are going to start in Great and Advanced uh, starts with a main opener or a main question regarding the stars. So when you look at the stars, when you observe the stars, what's, what are some of the questions that you can think about? So stop the video and try to think like, when you see the stars, what, what sort of science questions can you think about? Okay, so if we are talking about chemistry, we would like to say, what are the stars made of? So what are they made of? Also, how do we know what stars are made of? So that's that's a more difficult question when you think about it. So إحنا ريد نعرف النجوم من شو تتكون. بس أصلاً كيف نقدر نعرف النجوم هاي من شو تتكون? They are very far away, right? So basically, our first module or chapter in Great and Advanced Chemistry, we will try to answer these questions by learning more about the atoms. So, another question. If you have lithium here, which is a metal, madan, and you have sodium, and you have potassium, and you have copper, and I ask you this question. How can we tell which element or metal is which? So here I'm showing you the names, right? Imagine if I don't show you the names. لو ما وريتكم الأسماء كيف تقدرون تفرقون ما بين الليثيوم صوديوم and potassium maybe copper you can uh, differentiate it using the color لأن لونه غير عن الباقي بس الليثيوم والصوديوم والبوتاسيوم how can we know which one is which so if, if, if I don't show you the names so an interesting test which you can apply is if you burn lithium if you burn it it will produce a red color and if you burn sodium it will produce a yellowish or an orange color. If you burn potassium, it will produce a gray-like color. And if you burn copper, it will produce light blue color. So these are like fingerprints, basamat. This is called the flame test. Okay, اختبار الشعلة. So you can search about it. But now, these things, okay, these colors can tell us which one is which, right? But why, the question now about science is why the, do each one have a different color? Okay, so why does, or why does each element, sorry, why does each element produce a different color when it is burned? Okay, so to answer these, uh, these questions or these queries or inquiries, we need to study the atom and the electrons because it all has to do with the atoms and electrons. And that's our first module. Our module in the book is module 4 or chapter 1. It's called Electrons in Atoms. Okay? Module 4 in your Inspire Chemistry book. So it contains three lessons. Lesson number 1 talks about light and quantized energy. And it answers the main question, what is light? What is light? This is enrichment. It doesn't enter the final exam. Okay? 
سو اتس نوت شوينج بس ميبي اتس ا بونس كويستشن لكن احنا ما راح ندرسها ما راح نغطيه يعني في المنهج يو كان ريد ات اون يور اون سو اثرا اتس فيري جود اي ريكومند يو تو ريد ات انصحكم انكم تقراوه لانه يشرح اشياء كثيره مهمه في الجزء الثاني اللي هو ليسن تو سو ليسن تو از توكينج اباوت كوانتوم ثيوري اند ذا اتوم النظريه الكميه والذره سو مودلز اوف ذا اتوم شو هم المودلز حق الذره اوكي Final thing is, or the final lesson is electron configuration, and it describes the electrons in the atom. It talks about where are the electrons. We know they are around the nucleus, how in Noah, but exactly where? How can we describe them? So, this is the structure of our uh, first module, inshallah. And in the next video, we are going to start in lesson two. And I will throw in some of the main information from lesson one into lesson two because some some of it, not many uh, of the concepts are connected. Okay, just to give you a clearer picture. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll study inshallah lesson two starting from the next class. Bismillah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please again uh, subscribe, uh, share uh, the channel with your friends on the Telegram. Uh, so that they can also watch these videos. Okay, I wish you all the best and see you in the next video inshallah